This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family? Hope everybody is doing okay, you know? Shout out to you all. Alright, so for this video guys, we just want to take a look at uh, that CPL game that was played earlier this morning between the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots and the St. Lucia Kings they are called, right? Yeah man, it, it, was, it was a low scoring encounter, but we had a, a couple of good performances that we need to highlight. You understand? And Rastan Chase, once again, he put on a clinical batting display. You understand? And I don't want anybody to think that we, we are constantly talking about Rastan Chase in order to push the, the narrative that he should be in the World Cup squad. We're not doing that. But when a man is performing well, you have to highlight him. Similarly to when players are not performing well, we go ahead and we highlight them for a long period of time. I think it's only fair and only just for us to highlight him because he had another half century. Right, I'll, I'll give you some more information about his performance um, further down. But uh, it was the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots team that batted first. And they took the field without their captain doing bravo. So Christopher Henry Gailey was in charge um, of them. Right, uh, we, are, we, are, we are supposed to be aware by now what happened with doing bravo in the previous game. He's struggling with a, with a, grind, uh, with a grind strain problem. Eh? But they were only able to put together 118. Yeah, man. So we had a lot of top players failing. Chris Gale failed. Evan Lewis failed. Uh, Rutherford, he was, he was, he, he failed. He, well, he, he got, he got run out. You understand? Ali failed. So the enter, you can call it that entire top order field. Uh, Fabian Allen, he played, he played a rather, a rather good innings today. You know, we are usually used to seeing him just coming in and with about two overs to go, three overs to go and, and just to try and power away but he was able to stay there while wickets were falling around him you know he soaked up a couple of that bars yes but in the end he, he stayed there and was able to start and make up for it even though he wasn't able to push the team up to uh, 130, 140 we were thinking that if he stayed to the you know battle if he was able to battle the, uh, the 19 and the 28 over then he, he would have been able to push them up but you know he got out and they were only able to get 118 you understand he ended up getting 34 of 32 I think it is that he you know that, that he got but I must say he was courageous batting he just showed that he's capable of playing a, playing a different role because we are going into the World Cup we are assuming that he's going to be in the team who to tell we might we might um, have a scenario or a situation where the top order failed you know the 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 Lewis the Hetmeyer the poor and all of the guys that come before him the Russell or the Pollard you understand those guys might might fail pretty early and then Allen will be required to come in and to settle down and bat for maybe four or five six overs you understand so it was just good practice for him so shout out to Fabian Allen you know and he came back and he did pretty well with the ball also. You understand, and and it was a it was a good look. Um, where Fabian Allen is concerned, Chris Gale, uh, we got a chance to see him captain in the team. You know, he made a couple of decisions that, you know, I I I, I must salute him for. Uh, he, he the team got a couple of pretty a, a couple of early wickets. I think Fabian Allen, the first delivery that he bowled, he got um Andre Fletcher out. Right, I mean. You can call it that it was a bit a tough look and Fletcher seemed as if the bar was a bit high. He was adjudged um, LBW leg before wicket. But you know the bar seems as if it was a bit high. But from the get-go they were able to pick up wickets, three, four wickets, and even after the power play, Chris Gale left um majority of the players inside. You understand? He didn't push them out on the boundary because he was trying to push some more wicket, push some more wickets and, and things. So it was good to see that. But the total was just too too small. You understand? And um bowling, bowling, bowling for the for the bar um for the St. Lucia team we had Royal, the spinner there, I think he's from Jamaica. He ended up uh, getting three for twenty of his four over Smith Patel. Coming in, he was able to pick up two for 15 of his 
four overs. Kesrick Williams, uh, he, he's, he started doing some muted celebrations, um, celebrating these days. He ended up getting two for 32 off his three overs. So um, it, it was all in all a, a good bowling performance um, by the St. Lucia Zooks. Rastan Chase wasn't too bad either, you know, it was pretty economical and he did pretty well. Now, in the batting, you understand, the last time they played Fat Duplicy, he got a wonderful 120 20, uh, not out. He wasn't really up there this time. I think he ended up getting 22 or uh, 15. You understand, but Rastan Chase, as I, as I would have indicated a little earlier, he got another half century. Picking up 51 or uh, 38 to bring his team to victory. So you, you see, it's a familiar trend, you know. Um, Rastan Chase, so far throughout this CPL tournament, he has come in most of the time when his team is struggling. And, you know, he, 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 based on what we would have seen so far, he has been able to bat his team into winning position and on more than one occasion take them over the line. Because today again, he was able to remain not out. So, you know, he, he, he 51 of 38, he's really pushing the selectors. As I said, guys, based on what I heard, I, I even heard it today again from um, Samuel Badri. It's a possibility that the, the, the squad, the World Cup squad, will be announced on the 9th of September. You understand? So, let us see. Let us see how, how that is going to go. Phil, uh, Phil Simmons, uh, he's... So far, I've seen him at all the games, so he's definitely seen what Rest and Chase is offering. So it's it's I don't want to I don't want to dwell on the topic too much, but it, in all fairness, uh, guys, we have to look at what Rest and Chase is doing. You understand? And he's playing well. He's playing well. This is not a, a, a man coming in and, and swiping all over the place. He's he's striking the ball nicely. He's rotating the strike. All the good things that we have covered thus far. You understand? So they ended up getting uh, 121 for 4, uh, chasing down that, that total. So all in all, it was a very good win by the St. Lucia team. Now, the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, you see, that is how it goes. You know, usually you, you need to try and start off well in all competition. Uh, I think their first, the first five matches that they would have played, they won those first five games. You understand? So the mere fact that they, they have lost two consecutive games now, it's still, they are still in a good position because they, 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 they would have started well. You know, um, we don't want them to slip away. We don't want it to be a case where, you know, as they go further in the competition, they just continue to slip down the, down the order because um, the team, the team, the squad itself is a good squad. So we are hoping that, and I doubt St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they have never won the CPL. So if they are able to go um, deep, even to make it to the finals, then they, they, you can understand that the people um, supporting that particular franchise, um, you know, they, they are going to be feeling good about that. You understand? And the mere fact that it is being, the, the competition is being hosted in, over there in St. Kitts, uh, it, it, it would be a good look for them to win it. You understand? I am a Talawas man. But the mere fact that we have West Indies players and all of these teams, it's um, from time to time it's very difficult to to to, um, to to choose. You understand? I don't want a man believe I'm selling out my own country, you know, but you, you, you have to appreciate um, talent and you have to appreciate uh, when people are doing well. And Dwayne Bravo is definitely leading this team well thus far, and it, it would be good to see him succeed. I mean. <laughs> Not, 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 to, not to start to bring any sort of controversy, you know, but uh, remember, remember, what's his name, Bravo had indicated that his, his, his role is to come over to the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, to start to build the franchise, help to mentor young players and develop them. But I can tell you this, leaving, leaving um, the, the, the Trinidad and Tobago Knight Riders, Bravo wants to win. You hear I tell you now? Worst Pollard is captain in the, the team there. They are good mates, yes. But um, Bravo is not just here to, 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 um, to develop people. Bravo is there to try and win. You understand? Bravo is there to try and win. And he has, he has a good team around him. You know, players that would have been tested and proven at the international level. People like the Lewis, the Gales, and, and, and the, the Sheldon Cottrell. 
You understand? We have a couple of good youngsters coming through also, the Rutherford, Jerks, and those guys. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how, how the rest of the, the, the tournament develops as it regards to St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, especially if Dwayne Bravo, um, the, the injury that he would have suffered, especially if it is serious. You understand? Because having a good unit and losing your leader, you know, it, 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 it can be very tough. You understand? The good unit is always going to be there, but without the leader, it's a possibility that things can go sideways. But we're going to leave this one right here, guys. I just wanted to share with you all um, that you know it, it was another master stroke by, by Rasta and Chase. So let us leave this one right here for now. Sports to the bone. Big up on yourselves. In, I'm out.